Hallo, als u de, Engel, de Nederlandse versie wil volgen, dan moet u even op mijn kanaal kijken. Daar is ook de film in het Nederlands. Ik ga verder nu in het Engels. Hallo, viewers. Uh, we gaan make this watercolor. It's from a farm here nearby. I, I ride there on my way to the bike with a bike. And it is it was nice and sunny. I make it with my standard box with 12 colors. And it's a really nice place to get there and enjoy the view. I painted this on uh, the Langton Prestige. I received this block from Oliver Pyle. I think you will know him, and otherwise you have to look his channel up. I can use uh, three colors. It's not primaries, it's Mars Red. It's a bit of a burnt sienna, but uh, it's not really burnt sienna. But uh, Wizard and Newton used this as a as a burnt sienna. It is uh, PR of PV hundred and one. Have a look. I can find. I know for sure it is hundred and one PR or PV. I don't know. But I use it uh, a lot. I have also a uh, normal burnt sienna. I use Mars Red and uh, burnt sienna both. This is Cobalt Blue. This is the 373. And you have also a 371, a 372, and a 373. That's the normal Cobalt. The, the 1 and the 2 are lighter. And you have even a four that is almost ultramarine. It's really so you have a whole range of cobalt blues from warm to 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 cold. Uh, and a raw sienna. It's a bit of an earthy uh, raw sienna. But uh, we try to make a painting. And uh, they are squeezed out of my palette, and uh, you have to uh, trust me, I use them. You can also use ultramarine, Phoenician red, and cadmium yellow. It doesn't matter. If, if you make a red, a blue, and a yellow. So we try. I make green with it, I make gray with it. I don't talk much about, about uh, mixing the colors, uh, just three of them. It must be easy for you to see. So a small sketch. We set the horizon. We don't do a line. You see sometimes people doing this. Well, don't do that. It's not architecture, architecture. So we make a little house. We make a triangle. And under that we make a square. That is a house as we draw it when we are four years old. Now we make it a bit more adult, but still not very difficult. No, I think we are almost there. I don't do the windows or so. I see it in the sketch where the windows must come. And yeah.
it's easy enough to uh, paint over it, around it, I mean. Uh, this uh the barn. I think that is the barn where the, the horses uh, will kept. A little bit of a tree, a bush. This is the hedge. There's a hedgerow in front of the house. I already made the one line and don't make one line. It's boring to make one line. Yeah, you can let look into that shed. So I make some poles. Because this very dark, so I think I uh, Make it just a dark mixture and fill it in there below. Tree there, tree there. There are no trees there, by the way, but the the water column needs it. So we make it up. It's all our artistic freedom. There are some guidelines in the field with the poles coming. Not greens there, just to get hold of what we going to make. Uh, there are high dunes, and I'm not sure I can make them in the color that I used before because I can't make a purple with the uh, pigments I have but we'll see we can use the kill the quill from Princeton the flat one stroke a rigger and this is the, the modeler from Neptune also from Princeton this nice uh, holds a lot of water great brush I have also this one it's a bit sharper harder hairs that I call it but I uh, keep it now with the Neptune Probably think, go on, paint. Okay, I waited a bit. It is bogging fort, so you need a bit of wetness there. Not much. Don't wet it. Don't wet your paper. I see a lot of people wetting their paper and then put in colors, and it is too 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 little what they do and. They add more and more, and when they dry, they get mud. Of course, you can do it if you are very good in painting and you are a professional. You know exactly what you do, but I don't recommend that uh, for beginners. Well, this is the cobalt. You see, it's very bright. It's lovely uh, to have. To paint with bright colors. The first one uh, I ever made with my Miri paints, uh, my wife says, Ah, you uh, take up other pigments or you use other pigments. I said, No, the same pigments, only the other brand. But these, uh, my Miri's, are so clear. I'll make the sky. I have a bit of burnt sienna with the with the cobalt blue. Otherwise, it is so very blue.
the wet brush I uh, make the edges a bit softer and because I uh, pre-wet the paper there you always save Bit of a stiffer mix. Or gray. I try to uh, make the, the high trees. That was not a high tree. With white space in the sky. With three colors, you have to think a lot more. But also, you can mix better at the end. It is so simple to make a palette with, uh, let's say, 20 colors. You can dip in every color you want. To make a painting from three or four, five. Of course, I did paint this one, and I really missed the purple. So next time I am sure to take uh, alizarin or brown matter with it so I can make purple. I cry down uh, also the the shadow sides of the, these buildings. There's a hard piece. And I want it soft. So I make it soft. Not with a very wet brush, just, just damp. I wet my brush and uh, outside of the cam camera is a, is a sponge and I dip my brush on the sponge and it is just good, not too much. So my cream in the same mixture we do a bit of raw sienna. So we have the sky and the background all in one puddle. I come in uh, with with the, with the brush. And it is still wet, the paper, so I can do this. Ray Campbell Smith would say, when it signs, when it has signs uh, that it tried, leave it strictly alone. And he says that because you get backgrounds that way. When you go in in a wet brush in an in an all dried stadium of the paper. Well, then is it uh, cauliflower land? Very stiff mix, a bit of darks to set the painting, 
to set the horizon. Don't make it straight at the bottom. I can't tell you what I do here. It is just making shapes what I think is this would, would look nice. Next to the building I did a bit of lighter tones. Same mixture on the other side. And same treatment of course. Well, I'm going to do a bit of farmland. Keep it light. You can always go darker. Where's the head row? I want a broken edge, but. The blocking fort is a bit smooth, so broken edge you can only with a flat brush and, uh, and I have to say that the my watercolor palette is a bit in the way. But I manage. in a small tree. But because it is already on an on the shed, I soften the edges with a wet brush. So I can easily paint the roof of the, the shed. Bit of darks on the edge. It's still wet, so it bleeds in a bit. Variating the color. Not hard to do. I have used three colors. <laughs> More green, yellowy green. And now yellow, the yellow with, with some blue, and the blue with more, or uh, green with more blue. So I can variate my wash. I think you all know uh, David Curtis. He he just variates every centimeter his color, and that is something uh, he is famous for. 
but I'm not patient enough to do that. And now you just want to cover all the white. Not all of it. My mixer is here too dry. I have to use more liquid. So a demo and paint together. I don't recommend it. I do recommend when, uh, that you uh, film yourself when you paint. You see all sorts of uh, yeah, mistakes you make. I just hate how I scramble my 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 brush around the paper. I want to do it fluid the next time. And why I want to do this fluid? Uh, you must touch the paper uh, so little. If you can, when you brush the paper twice or three times or more, it gets wetter and wetter and it gets dull on that place, especially with green. So, a stiffer mix for in the field. The paper is now a bit out and it is good. I don't need uh, hard edges at the moment. But you see in my palette it's all a bit grey and then and then. But it is all in harmony. Because you have so a narrow palette. The only odd pot is uh, the Mars Red, it's the bright one. So I use it here, but I don't go with the red on the edges of the paper. I only give you a guideline to the buildings. Because this is a narrated version of the, the Dutch I did, that is also on the channel. It's I painted it yesterday, but you forget so much. But you see a bit of dark in the foreground. It's always nice. look when you darken it otherwise it is so light and uh, there's uh, nothing going on and now you think well that there is a shadow there at least i hope you think there is a shadow there like this what what i do there oh yeah good okay Here I get a background a bit. So I dampen the brush. And I vapor it out a bit. And that time I thought, oh, I hope it works. And it works. I can tell you that. Well, now you see the background purple clouds or, or trees. 
I can now make him. If you want to make him with Elosrin, I think it's okay. And now I have just uh, the prayer sky there. What can you do about it? It's all watercolor. When it's done, it's done. Or you have to make a new one. And that's not so bad either. Gonna make uh, the houses. We go uh, use the smaller Princeton Aqua Elite brushes. I have them now for oh, 18 months. They, they, they keep sharp. I was a bit skeptic uh, about uh, these brushes. I thought, no, it's just like all the uh, other synthetics. After a month, they, they are, are blunt. But this, these are, are made of uh, diamond. I, I don't know. They, they keep sharp. And I paint a lot. And only with these ones. Uh, we're going to make a roof color, Mars red, a little tiny of blue, otherwise it is so Mars red. And we don't paint uh, Luna parks, but we paint nature and uh, their surroundings. On the end of the roof, there's always some moss and lichen, and so we make it green. Most rooftops on the shadow sides are a bit of uh, mossy. As long as it is wet, you can put in all, all sorts of colors. But control the, the water in your brush. Otherwise you have a mushroom or a cauliflower on your roof. I make this rooftop a bit lighter, so rose sienna and mars red. So it is a little bit different, but this is closer by, so I make it uh, a bit lighter in red, yellow, orange. Of course, I do the moss. I think I make a gray roof for that. So Mars red, cobalt blue. We make a bit of cream at forehand. Test.
I paint in the direction of the roof, so uh, the white spaces that will appear help to say roof. Because it's grey, I can take yellow, the yellow and the grey get green. Working the tree in the roof. What can I say? Just uh, same treatment as the other roofs, only in grey tones. A bit of rust. A lot of these roofs, uh, though, do have rust. Made of that metal plates. Like the other roofs, variate a bit. If you make details enough, it's automatically going to be a, a focal point. There's nothing in the sky, there's nothing in the foreground yet. Well, I'm gonna make dark brown, a bit, little bit of Mars red and a cobalt blue. Normally you would go for burnt umber and neutral tint or something like that. Now you have to find yourself a way to make door brown. There's a door here. I paint around it. I need a dark coming on the side. When I look back, this uh, it's it's uh, is a bit fiddly. All oh. at the moment, I didn't felt that way, but. At the end of the world, it is a nice painting. It is not a masterpiece.
front of the building. This wood paneling, if I recall, so I make my brush strokes again in the in the way the paneling I made. And with watercolor, it is always so. We hope for the best. And when you paint fitly like this, it's it's never gonna be a winner, but you could get there in the end. Now we have dark, I think. We make the underside of the farm there. And then we go over to the shed. Here's the front. It's a bit too dark. The uh, same dark mix, uh, mix as the side of the shed. And variates a bit of brown and darkish tones there. Get the dark off a bit for the tissue.
Yeah, making bushes with cream. There's a lot of variety, cobalt and pearl sienna. But you can make thicker mixes and Okay, three now, trying to make a broken edge. Bog for this smooth paper, especially when it is, uh, I should say, when it's already got a layer of paint on it, it is even smoother because the pigments stay on top. When the paper is uh, still white, you can get a broken edge. But as soon as you put water or pigment on it, it's more difficult to get a broken edge. Uh, make a mix for the other side of the farm. A bit more variety. And branches. Now we make the middle tree, a bit of, of fall color. Mars red and a little bit of cobalt. I don't know if I said it before, but this is uh, narrated and it is very difficult. I think I going back to paint and speak English again because this is uh, hard to do. So my neighbor is doing the, the carpenter. My wife is below cooking dinner. And I'm narrating fitly watercolor.
we are almost done. You wouldn't say, but it's just 10 minutes of painting yet. Shadow sides. This to use to get a crispy look at it. The door, windows, I make my windows brown. James Fletcher Metz Watson uh, makes his windows brown also. I usually do them do them black or dark. Seldom blue. I make it a uh, wooden shutters for the the windows. They look nice. There's a red dot in the middle, but I don't have red. Normally, uh, I use cadmium red. And there are some small windows above rectangular. Side windows. I believe in real that there are also from the wooden panels, but well. It's not that important. Balls to make it interesting around the horizon. Maybe it's roof a bit. All sorts of details you never notice in a painting if you don't know that they are made. Darken up a bit. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not used to uh, a lot of talking. I usually type. So, dark green. I'll make some rough textures. If you have speed, it's also uh, possible to make. Rough texture, but of course you can make a tree at this speed. Bit of rough texture in the lines in the field. Just to make it a bit of insert interesting a path to the, the farm. I'm 
more red. Now I shoot out. Yeah. Even worse. Don't paint. Don't paint if you can't paint. My teacher used to say. Now making some darks in the foreground. Dark blue. Dark green. Bit underneath. Bigger brush. I think it is a Princeton number 10. The shadow, or I hope you think, hey, shadow. Must be a bit gray, more gray. Yes, a little better. Shadow must be shadow. Let's have a look. Uh, we need shadow on the side of the building. Normally, I would do this in a blue, purple. For sure, a warm, warm blue. So I uh, take ultramarine and uh, alizarin, or brown matter, rose matter. I know brown matter, brown matter. Rose metal is also a nice color. Last half hour, I hear Crawshaw saying, Don't fiddle, don't fiddle, and what I do, I fiddle, fiddle a lot. Okay, coming to an end. Make the pulse. About 14. No, oh, just kidding. I just make pulse, I think. Where they must come. I don't look at the field and say, ah, there's a pole, there's a pole. I don't, I just look at my watercolor and I decide then and where, where I put the poles. So, also fixed a bit more darks. I think it is ready almost. The more you do in the foreground, the less you see in the background. And the background is the focal point. Well, thank you. And I hope the next time is less fiddle and more paint.